39. Calculate the delta G notch for each of the following reactions from the equilibrium constant at the temperature given. Okay, so we have silver, uh, silver bromide, AgBr solid, which will dissolve into Ag plus aqueous plus Br minus aqueous. They tell us that the temperature is at 25 degrees Celsius, so that's room temperature, and we have an equilibrium constant of Kp of 3.3 times 10 to the negative 13th. Okay, so whenever they give you an equilibrium constant and you're solving for delta G or vice versa, right? If they give you a delta G and you're solving for a K, uh, you know, an equilibrium constant, there's only basically one formula that you have to memorize. There's two variations depending on what you're actually solving for, just makes it easier. We're solving for delta G, they gave us that K value. The easiest formula is this right here. Delta G equals negative RT ln of K. Now we just have to know what the variables are. If we're solving for this, that means we should know RT and K. Well, we'll always know R because R is a standard value. R for this formula is the 8.314. Now, that is in joules per mole times Kelvin. Those are the units for R value. Now, if it is a Kelvin value, that means that the temperature, capital T, has to be in Kelvin. They gave it to me in Celsius. So the first thing I have to do is I have to convert the Celsius into Kelvin. Celsius into Kelvin, we know that that's plus 273. More specifically, it's plus 273.15. So that's what I'm going to do. 25 plus 273.15, this number is like ingrained in me. 25 degrees Celsius is always 298 degrees Kelvin. So I'll just tack on the uh, 0.15, and that's the temperature that's going in here. Ln of K, Ln is the natural log, which is found on the calculator, but the K value is the equilibrium constant. Notice how I didn't put Kp here, because it literally could be any K value. There's so many of them. Kp. Sure, KC, you got it. KA, okay. KB, uh, right, right? KSP, no problem. In this case, they gave me a KP, so I'm just going to plug it in. 3.3 times 10 to the negative 13th. Let's plug it all in. Solve for delta G. This little notch thing means that it's just a standard, right? So it's under standard conditions, and it kind of makes sense. Standard conditions is, you know, 298. Um, sure, let's calculate negative 8.314 times the temp, 298.15, and then I'm going to say ln of 3.3 times 10 to the negative 13th. The good thing about using your TI-84, which I love to use, is that I can plug this all into the calculator in one shot and I'll get the answer. So let's do that, right? The negative is in the formula, so negative 8.314 times the 298.15 times, the natural log button is right here, ln. Now I have to put something into scientific notation. I love to use the EE button. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna say 3.3, and then I'm gonna say second comma. That's the EE button. Oop, I don't want that. That means times 10 to the. So now all I have to do is just add that exponent, negative 3, or negative 13. If you do it that way, it will always group your scientific notation properly. This especially helps if we're dividing by scientific uh, notation. And I'm just going to press enter. Okay, 71,240. Now just know that the units is joule per mole. Because the Kelvin, remember, got canceled. Joules per mole, though, did not. Now, this is a very big number. That's why delta G values are normally expressed in kilojoules per mole. So I'm just going to quickly take my joule and turn it into kilojoule. I'm just going to divide by 1,000. So I'm just going to take it, divide by 1,000, and then I'm going to add those sig figs on there. So delta G would be, let's see. Delta G would be, let's see, should have been a poet, but I'm doing chem videos. Anyway, this has five sig figs that I used. This one only has two. So my answer should only have two sig figs. So there's only room for the seven and the one. So 71 kilojoules 
or mole. And that's it. Thank you so much for viewing the video. I really hope this helped. Let me know in the comments. I will be talking to you soon. And tell your friends, tell your classmates about this cool channel. Um, we really do appreciate you guys so much. We've, you know, this channel has grown so much and it's all because of you guys. I'm really glad that, you know, we're giving you great educational content. And yeah, let's keep learning. All right. I'll talk to you soon. Bye-bye.